So here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello, 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 and a massive hello to everybody. How's everybody doing? 14th of September, 2016. No trade calls, no recommendations. I refer to sponsor with own stuff. We're here for educational purpose only. So again, as promised, doing a very quick, trying to keep a quick update for, for this Wednesday trade. So what's going on, what's going on? So not an awful lot has changed. Um, if you're unfamiliar with our outlook, just look back at the uh, previous uh, weekly sessions or the, you know, the Sunday videos, everything's detailed there. Our outlook has been for, you know, more weakness in the bonds. And as I tweeted out uh, yesterday, you know, um, cable, we expected uh, previous day lows to get taken out and more downside pressure. Uh, we expect USD JPY, Euro JPY to stay bid as you're getting more positioning and squaring into this BOJ, right? Uh, we don't have a lot of interest in trading Euro, really. It's stuck inside mid-range. And, you know, all those commodity currencies, a lot of chop, but we think the swings are in play with USD strength. And in terms of equities, we're very happy with all the volatility, but we still think that the path of least resistance is lower, that the... Um, uh, you know that all the risk reward is to the downside and again it's moving around quite nicely so we really can't uh, we can't complain and again we liked all those bounces on 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 sterling to get short for a bigger term picture now here going into this um, uh, bond so looking at these bonds here let me just turn this down a little bit um, on this bond so right we've had a very nice move here and as we said you know as long as we you know we're taking this level here and as long as we're holding below the 166.80s we still expect this to come back down into the 62.46s so no big change look for any rallies here to get some selling pressure to come back down so again pretty much in line with what we looked at uh, no big uh, no big change in outlook uh, here you know if you're looking at uh, another interesting thing is Aussie right as we said you know this was a very sharp uh, very heavy heavy move here and you have to respect this area so now especially Especially if we hold below this 100, we'd still expect more pressure to come back down towards this 200, and then that's going to be the pivotal level for either bounces or a much bigger rotation lower. Okay, much bigger rotation lower. And in terms of Kiwi, what's going on on Kiwi? Um, there was a lot of tells on the failure. You know, we said once it breaks higher, wait for it here. Once we trade back below, it's heavy. So as long as we can hold below this area, don't be surprised to see us trying to tag all this, uh, all these levels. Now, keep in mind, you have to respect the support that's going to be coming up here. So again, it's all about pivotal action around here. Now, what's particularly interesting on Aussie and Kiwi is not necessarily what happens today because today is a bit of a dead day. The only thing that's going to really matter today apart for U.S. flows is this uh, U.K. data print in about, you know, an hour or so, an hour and a half. And we'll look at cable in a second. But then we're going into tomorrow and in the overnight session, we got GDP out of uh, out of New Zealand and we got the unemployment uh, data out of Australia. So that will definitely be very, very interesting. You know, in terms of event where it's pretty much everything stacked around tomorrow uh, with those points with uh, SMB on deck, with a BOE on deck, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really what we'd be focused on in the overnight session. You know, crude, we'll see a lot of wheeling and dealing here. We might get more OPEC comments. But as we said, you know, our outlook was that we put in a short term top and we'd be coming back down. Nice little chance to sell any of these rallies. And again, as long as we hold below, we'd expect this to be trying to make its way back into the 40, uh, 42.40s. So that's pretty much in play here, even though the action has been fairly choppy. And uh, again, you know, yen, as we said, we just don't understand why anybody would want to go into the BOJ trying to get a uh, short yen inside this broader zone. You know, for us, is even though it's a labored uh, move here, you know, any move back down is a chance to get long to play for a move back into these 103s. And this is still going to remain the pivotal level for a move back to the 105 or back down. Now, don't be surprised if we clip this level quick. Don't be surprised if we go back into this area waiting for the BOJ. But equally, if they disappoint, we could see all back down in the 100. So that's not, um, you know, that's not something that's out of the cards. But as you see here in a, in a clearer view, you know, it clearly looks like it's unable to find new sellers at lows. So again, coming into this area, you really have to respect this zone. And as long as, you know, it, You'd ex if this is going to break, it's post BOJ, not ahead of the BOJ. If anything, the risk is for those upside corrections. Okay, now 
uh, cable, as we said last week, actually we talked about it on Sunday, right, in the sound, Sunday Outlook, and we said, you know, these, these failures and those highs. Do we have another chart? Where's my other chart on cable? Um, I mean, we can do it quickly, but basically our failures on the high, here it is, sorry. Failure on the highs and this weekly close was really a tell, and we expect that any kind of rally into the week to get sold for a potential move back into these lows. So again, the, the move has been quite technical and quite nice. Here we're only going to be trading on data, right? So um, look at data today. If we if we get decent data point, don't be surprised to see this try to rally. If we get uh, disappointing data again, you know, we'd expect this to continue its move all the way back down, potentially back towards the whole 129 area so fairly orderly here really trading on the data um, i know a lot of people keep on asking about euro no real interest in euro we're holding here in the middle of the range we're not interested in getting chopped up you can make a case either size it looks like we're still holding bid here but really around this 112 we have absolutely no interest we feel there's very little edge here in doing anything now in terms of the es well actually cad what's going on on cad so we've had a beautiful move here we expected this to try and rotate all the way back into the 135s we'll have to see what happens here on data keep in mind that you've got a lot of chop here with all these three moving averages coming here so i still suspect that on any weakness the market will probably be liking liking all this multi-confluence of support here to get long for that move back into the 135s so that seems to be playing out quite nicely and uh, on the es right you know what we always talk about uh, everybody's always you know i i I suspect all the people complaining about no volatility spent the past two days, you know, coiled up in the fetal position behind their desk or underneath their desk, rather. You know, be careful what you wish for. Um, again, as we said, risk happens quick, right? Here in, in two days, right, we've pretty much, uh, what, what, what we pretty much given back, you know, 40, 45 days. And again, for people who've been watching the Outlook video, no real, real surprise in terms where the asymmetry of risk reward was. This is still the old contract, right, because it hasn't loaded here on this demo platform. But as long as we don't get back above these highs, back above these 50, path of least resistance is to try and print lows as far as we're concerned. And if you see the action, you know, more on an intraday basis, you see we got a lot of sloppy action. Market kind of holding here. A lot of people after this move, you know, the tricky thing on the big moves is all the people who've missed it try to get really excited and they and they tend to be late to the party here. You know, after coming into the market on, on Monday, you know, you have to hold this level. Now, you can try and be aggressively short here if you want. But the moment we give back this, you know, you really got to stand back, you know, especially time of day. It broke through it held bid you know came all the way back into 61.8 into this previous resistance then it put in a reversal so now really game is on right if the shorts can hold this series of higher lows then clearly have a the, the as we said the path of least resistance is to take out more uh more downside but keep in mind anywhere inside here don't get confused with velocity of move inside range okay so that's pretty much where we stand again i hope that was useful guys i'll send out the recording uh just load it up as soon as i can and have an awesome day and again keep in mind tomorrow we've got you know today we've got that uh, uk data release but pretty much all the event risk is bunched around tomorrow in terms of data points have an awesome one take care thanks for liking thanks for sharing as always very much appreciated have an awesome one bye bye guys